everybody. I have a fun rhyming book here I'm going to read. It's called Ted and Friends. I'm just going to read part of it today. The first story is called Ted's Shed. Look at that. Ted Shed. These pages are thick, so. Meet Ted. Ted likes, what color do you think he likes? That's right, red. Even Ted Shed is a red shed. See, lots of red. Today, Ted's bed goes into the shed. What are you going to do, Ted? asks Fred. Wait and see, says Ted. Up on his stool, Ted gets down his tools. I think he's a handyman. He puts in a paw and he pulls out a, oh, that's right, a saw. Let's see what he's gonna saw. It's time to start sawing. Ted looks at his drawing. Ted saws into a big round log. What are you up to? asks Pup the dog. He saws off a big round slice. This wood is good. This slice is so nice. Now Ted saws off slice after slice. Look who's watching. A pair of mice. Do you see them there? Yep, they're watching. Next, Ted hunts for his jar of nails. The jar is empty, apart from a snail. <gasps> Look, the mice have the nails in their tails. Can you see it there? Nails, tails, snails. Those are what? <gasps> Rhyming words. Ted and his team work on in the sun. They huff and they puff but it's lots of fun. Fred and Pup ask, what's this all about? Just wait and see, the others shout. They want them to be patient. Did you guess Ted's clever plan? Ted's red shed is now a caravan. Can you see that? He's gonna be able to pull it, isn't he? Yes. And one more, Sam Sheep can't sleep. And it says, don't forget, there's a yellow duck to find on every page. Sam Sheep can't sleep. Oh, I found the yellow duck. It doesn't look yellow, but it's right there by my finger. Sam Sheep gets up. Sam Sheep wakes up pup. Oh, there's the yellow duck. Do you see it? Right there by my finger hiding. Pup barks. It's late. It's dark. Go to sleep, Sam Sheep. I can't sleep, says Sam Sheep. I need to see Fat Cat. Let's see if I can find the duck. Oh, there's the duck. And there's the duck. See that? Fat Cat's on her sleeping mat in the park. And Pup barks. It's late. It's dark. Go to sleep. Sorry, barks Pup. Sam Sheep can't sleep. You need to see Ted in his red bed. Oh, there's the duck right there. And there's the duck hiding behind the cat. Ted is asleep in his red bed. Ted wakes up. There's the duck, and there's the duck by the pillow. They woke up Ted. On goes the light. Pup barks in the dark night. Oh, you gave me a fright. Sorry, barks Pup. Sam Sheep can't sleep. Then let's see Big Pig down the street. Can't sleep, says Big Pig. Then do a jig. That will make you sleep, Sam Sheep. So Pup starts to jiggle. Fat Cat starts to wiggle. Ted does a wriggle. And Big Pig starts to giggle. <gasps> There's the duck again. 
But what about Sam Sheep? Oh, Sam Sheep is fast asleep. He finally fell asleep and now all his friends are awake. And there's the little duck right there. What a silly story. Kind of fun. Shark versus train. Who will win? Oh, who do you think will win? How many say shark? How many say train? Shark? One, two, three, four. How many say train? One, two, four. Oh, it looks almost like a tie. Who will win? Well, that depends on if they're in the ocean. How's that furnace working for you? Hmm, looks like shark would win then. Or if they're on railroad tracks. Can we make it to get out of there? If they're on a seesaw. Woo! Or in hot air balloons. Ha ha! Loose caboose. Ooh, he's fallen down. If they're roasting marshmallows, drat. Looks like train would win. It depends on if they're shooting baskets. Fall, says the shark. Or trick-or-treating. The clown is very hungry. The shark is getting all the candy, isn't he? Or going off the high dive. Ooh, splash. And the train says, eek. But who will win if they're playing hide and seek? Or exploring distance galaxies. We need to find some train tracks. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, they're both out of their familiar environment. Or, okay, this is getting ridiculous, says Shark. Now would be a good time for a break. Boys, lunch! <gasps> Look at those two boys. What are they holding in their hand? <gasps> shark versus train. They threw them into the toy box. And the boys are running to get their lunch, and the shark says, Next time, you're history, soot spewer. And the, the train says, Next time, you're sunk, squid slurper. So who won? We'll have to wait and find out next time the kids play. What fun and what great imaginations those boys had. Wonderful imaginations. So I'm going to say good night, and I love you. This is a little shorter tonight, but um, maybe your mom or your dad will read you your favorite story before you go to bed, okay? I love you so much. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's Owen. There's Dylan. Hi, Joanna. There's Hillary and Nathan and Shane and Greg's back there and Harper, and there's Abby and Megan. Oh. And Amron's over there, and Logan's there. I'm glad you're all watching. And I just hope you'll have a great night's sleep. And remember, Grandma loves you. And I'm going to throw you a big kiss. Oh, Abby, you didn't catch it. Let me try again. She caught it that time. Good for you. And I love you. Good night. Amen.